It's this interplay of forces, the repulsion of like charges and the binding strong force that sets the stage for nuclear fusion. These reactors, known as tokamaks, are designed to contain the incredibly high temperatures and pressures needed for fusion to occur. The International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, or ITER, is one such project. Based in France, it brings together scientists and engineers from 35 nations, all striving to make controlled nuclear fusion a reality. If successful, ITER will produce approximately 10 times the amount of energy it consumes, a monumental leap forward in energy production. But, like any worthwhile endeavor, it's not without its challenges. Achieving and maintaining the conditions necessary for nuclear fusion is no small feat. It requires temperatures over 10 times hotter than the core of the sun and incredible amounts of pressure. Furthermore, the technology to contain and control these reactions is still in its infancy. Despite these hurdles, the potential benefits of nuclear fusion are too significant to ignore. This is akin to heating the atoms to extremely high temperatures, often millions of degrees. The heat gives the atomic nuclei so much energy that they can overcome the strong force and get close enough to each other. This stage of the dance is called the Coulomb Barrier, named after the French physicist Charles Augustin de Coulomb. Once the dancers have overcome their initial reluctance and are in each other's arms, the magic happens. They begin to move as one, spinning and turning in perfect harmony. In the world of atoms, this is when the atomic nuclei combine to form a heavier nucleus. This fusion of atomic nuclei is the heart of the nuclear fusion process, and it's here that we see the birth of a new element. But the dance is not over yet. There's a final breathtaking spin where the dancers separate, leaving a trace of their combined energy on the dance floor. In nuclear fusion, this is when the fused nucleus splits apart, releasing a tremendous amount of energy. This energy released is the very reason nuclear fusion is so important and so sought after. Now here's a fun fact. Sometimes the dancers or the atomic nuclei don't separate after the spin. Instead, they form a heavier element and release a tiny dancer, a neutrino, who carries away some of the energy. This is how the Sun, our very own cosmic ballroom, creates helium from hydrogen and powers itself. And so, in a nutshell, nuclear fusion is the process where two light atomic nuclei combine to form a heavier nucleus, overcoming their natural repulsion by the strong force. This fusion results in the release of a large amount of energy and sometimes the creation of a new element. It's a complex dance, a balance of forces and energy, a symphony of atomic interaction. It's a process that powers the stars and holds the potential to provide us with a nearly inexhaustible source of energy, but that's a topic for another day. Why does any of this matter to us? But why should we care about nuclear fusion, a process that happens millions of miles away in the sun? Well, imagine a world where we could harness the same energy that lights up the stars right here on Earth. That's the potential of nuclear fusion. It's not just a fascinating natural phenomenon, but a door to a future where we could have a virtually unlimited source of clean, green energy. Presently, our world runs on fossil fuels. These are not only finite, but also contribute significantly to global warming. However, with nuclear fusion, we could produce energy without the harmful byproducts associated with fossil fuels. Scientists around the globe are working tirelessly to bring this vision to life. They're developing reactors designed to replicate the conditions found at the sun's core, where nuclear fusion naturally occurs. 